Hello everybody, Pastor So here. Thank you for joining us on the message recap for this week. Hey, Pastor was talking about on 1 Corinthians chapter 9. He's going to talk about money, right? Oh, exciting things. Uh, we all love money. We all love to use them. We all love to buy stuff. But uh, sometimes money can lead us into many ways, right? Good or bad. But here... Uh, this week that pastor talked about, um, I think it makes sense, right? It's just not just something that um, we use it for the things that we want, but to help and to keep that firm foundation. Um, especially here in the church, um, in the tithing, our pastor talked about, you know, the, perce the percentage that God wants us to, to keep, but it's not uh, not all of that, right? It's what we can and what we can we uh, we can support, right? Especially, uh, church doesn't make money, right? Church doesn't go out and to to get money or to to sell stuff or we make stuff, right? Obviously, we don't um, we don't do anything that makes money. But uh, for us to want to keep sharing the good news, to want to keep this firm foundations, we as a board, as a elders, as the church member, right? We I'll pitch a name and to build that up. Right, this reminds me of the story of how Camp Luther Haven was built. Right, it's not that uh, a person went and loaned money or built all of this thing and to, um, to build that uh, beautiful place. But no, it's uh, people, right, uh, families and friends that comes together and to build that uh, until this day, right. A camp doesn't... Um, like to say that we are one group, uh, we're a one person that uh, own this, right? Um, I love to say it's everybody that comes and help out and to support. So that's really cool. Here and we went farther where Paul, right, in the text, how he uh, surrendered of his right. Remember, Paul was uh, well educated. Remember, Paul was uh, probably in a high uh, family. Uh, uh, you know, high and, and rich family, right, to all of that. But until when he met Jesus, uh, the things that he rich or the things that he adds uh, don't matter uh, much for him because he is rich in uh, serving God. He's rich in the love of Christ has given him. And I know sometimes we can give, uh, even though we want to give uh, a huge amount, but it's not all about that, uh, especially uh, what Jesus is saying, right? It's what we can and what we can support. And I know that you guys done uh, so many great things here in Southwest, right? Um, for my personal um, experience is that it's because of your support, right? Uh, I can become a pastor, right? And because of your support, I can uh, serve uh, you and the people, especially the, the youth that uh, I've been hanging out with. So I want to thank you so much. Uh, but one most important thing that we uh, remember is how Jesus, um, you know, support, given, uh, and to, to build our firm foundations. As I'm going through that and reading to the message and all of those um, uh, good stuff that I see, Christ gave himself up so that uh, we can continue to build that firm foundations. Uh, he gave himself up so that we can uh, glorify and honor God, and not just that, to go to him with all our gift and thanksgiving. So I know it's uncomfortable uh, to talk about uh, money, uh, but it's something that we must and, and to share and talk about, right? If somebody just need help, we help each other. If somebody uh, doesn't need, and how can we uh, help and serve one another as we go, right? But think about that, right? Think about uh, what you can and what you uh, cannot, right? Wherever uh, it's not just um, we can all, only when we can give is with serving God. No, there's so many other ways. But here is one topic. Here is one, um, you know, conversations that our, we, our pastor is talking about uh, this week. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Uh, thank you so much for joining me uh, today. Um, I hope to see you guys next time. God bless you.